Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. It is important to be doing that. We're coming into weird times. <laughs> and when you get a reading with me, um, I'm not the one that sits here and acts like I know everything. I can, if I pick up on an energy and I've been through it, I'll be like, listen, I went through that. This is what I did. I don't know if it's going to help you, but it comes with a little bit of practical advice. Maybe do not as I do advice. <laughs> so, <laughs> but mostly it's it's obviously going to be angelic messaging. So let's see what our card is for today. Sunstone Empowerment. We were just talking uh, in yesterday's video when I released it. These are actually timeless, but uh, that was Ancient Wisdom. We were talking about how you know, how we've been taken advantage of and how we're waking up to that. Now, Sunstone can be prosperity, but it's prosperity through your own doing. Think very earthy, um, being resourceful. That is where your uh, finances improve or this is where our economy improves because we stop putting money into things that don't matter, right? And this is going to hit things that, you know, Things like think fashion, fast fashion or think trendy things. Like people might still be in that mindset and be like, oh no, I stay on top of trends. Um, you're going to see like that's probably not the best way to focus your energy. But to get what you need, you know, I love makeup for example. I'm not going to go out and keep buying the latest whatever. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use what I have. And... If I don't have it, I'm going to make it. I'm going to figure out a way to make it myself. It's that sort of thing. Or, you know, maybe starting a garden or something along those lines. But we're disconnecting, not in like a rebellious way, but in a, okay, well, if I can't afford that, then I'm going to figure out something else kind of way. So please be prepared for things like power outages. Um... Like I was telling people in the weekly, I had an internet outage where there was no access to internet, no matter what we tried to do. <laughs> and it doesn't seem like it's a big deal. And people can kind of scoff and say, oh, go back and live like it's the 70s and read a book, you know. Um, thanks for your two cents. But we've all been digitized in a way. And so when we don't have that, it's, it's not just detoxifying from our electronic devices. It feels like the world is slipping out from underneath us. It has a deeper impact. And a lot of people who maybe are my age or younger, I'm learning how to do more resourceful things like maybe my grandmother had to do when she was growing up, but that, that doesn't come naturally. A lot of people don't know how to sew. A lot of people don't know how to make things from scratch. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's not just so easy to be so flippant about it and say, oh, pick up a book or figure it out or whatever. It would be a major adjustment for people. And what do people do when they're stressed? They act out. And we don't need that. We need the empowerment from that. So keep that in mind. That's why I keep talking about the readings. Make sure you're working on it. Okay, working on your response, especially if there's anything that needs to be released that is holding you up from feeling empowered, all right? So we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.